Hello. So first, I want to thank thanks for the organizers to provide such a beautiful venue so that、uh, we can here to present to all of you. So my name is Mark Hong. I come from Taiwan.、Uh, I'm a LibreOffice developer, and、uh, in last few years,、uh, I worked、uh, a lot in. Uh, writer and impress issues, majorly related to CJK languages. So today I'm going to、uh, talk about to review some of the issues I have faced and some stories behind them. So it's not quite a, it's not a very technical、uh, talk, but just share some of my stories. So、uh, in LibreOffice, there are、uh, many features that are designed specifically for CJK users,、uh, such as Asian typography that、uh, we are allowed to use、uh, hand punctuation, and like we have、uh, line breaking rules that、uh, we can set、uh, forbidden characters、uh, at the beginning of the line and end of the line. And Asian kerning and character compression for、uh, punctuation and kana, Japanese kana. Also, we have a、uh, uh, justify alignment rules.、Uh, Japanese and and Chinese users have different justify rule、uh, compared to、uh, other languages. And also, in some contexts,、uh, we write.、Uh, Vertically or in a special form of paper called a、uh, text、uh, grid paper that is gao zhi or gan guo yu. So, and also、uh, we use、uh, Ruby or Asian Fontic Guide to mark ideograms so that the reader the readers know how to pronounce an ideogram. And we have other language tools. Like、uh, conversion tools for simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese, and also that、uh, conversion tools for Hangul and Hanya for Korean people. So, and also there are some features that are not、uh, visible from the user interface, but、uh, we need them、uh, every day, such as support of、uh, input method. Or missing、uh, Western and Asian scripts, or like、uh, support of、uh, characters, like、uh, some special characters, like、uh, ideograph variance sequence, and、uh, Unicode characters that are not in basic multilingual plan. So、uh, these features are designed specifically for CJK users. So、uh, on the other way, that it is、uh, hard for Uh, other language users,、uh, especially uh, for uh, Western people, to understand how they should be used or what the expectation of the the, the those、uh, the behavior of those features. So sometimes it get very long to、uh, get a bug、uh, fixed. Okay. So how did everything begin? So、uh, I just want to share about、uh, my story that how I began to、uh, hack LibreOffice. So、uh, back to 2014,、uh, I worked、uh, in an organization with、uh, roughly 600 computer computers and、uh, 400 people, and、uh, I my department was、uh, responsible for the office suite. Migration and、uh, I, I was work.、Uh, I worked on uh, promoting, uh, promoting the.、Uh, at that time,、uh, we have deployed、uh, Open Office, and so I was.、Uh, uh, I worked on、uh, promote, or or improve the migration of the Office Suite. So there are a few、uh, typical questions from the end user. For example, that.、Uh, Where、uh, we where from time to time we face the question like,、uh, why do Chinese numbers in the number list, numbering list, 
uh, in my in my DOCX or DOC or RTF those Microsoft format files uh, become Arabic numbers and and why are punctuation marks so close to the text behind and why do punctuation marks go outside the printing area and why are text ill formatted so we, we develop a kind of uh, answers to those questions for example we have to uh, teach a user how to create a number list uh, this style and then uh, apply it and ask them to save in open document format otherwise if they reload the same file they will find that the format is uh, was missing again so uh, that's kind uh, uh, it's nothing wrong to save to open document format I think that is the right thing to do but uh, on the other hand it become uh, quite a burden because create a, a, num a number style is kind of more advanced uh, in my point of view so and for other questions uh, like uh, those text formatting uh, issues I uh, I, I will ask them to turn off the CJK features such as uh, character compression and like uh, pain punctuation and text query. So at that time, the CJK features became some kind of roadblock behind us. So, so I help and so uh, there is something that my colleague told me that uh, he said that if you got a simplified Chinese document then the numbered the numbers the Chinese numbers in the document will show up correctly so that's a very strange clue to me because since you can display simplified Chinese uh, uh, in, in in the number list uh, in the Microsoft Office format why couldn't you <laughs> display the traditional Chinese ones because for the lower numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 those are totally the same so it's kind of not logical and, and in my opinion I think it must, it must be very very easy to fix this kind of issue so in the summer, I think uh, it's when I was going to leave the office and I was uh, very boring or frustrated. Um, I was working on a document and then I thought, why, why, should, why shouldn't, why not uh, is try to uh, look into what's inside the document? So I just unzipped the document. So if you know that, those documents are uh, actually a zipped, uh, zipped file for many XML files and those XML files are all the text, text format that you can read with any kind of uh, text reader. Then I start looking for some interesting keyword inside the document. So then there is something I remember I, I don't exactly remember if it is a Taiwanese counting thousand or Chinese counting thousand but anyway there because they are pure text I can easily recognize that this is something I, I want to look for so I google the keyword and I search the source and then I try to make a patch and then I submit a patch to uh, a patch uh, open office and I think it's in the August 2014 uh, however that uh, while I'm after waiting for my patch to review uh, for three months I decide to try to submit my patch to LibreOffice to read and to my surprise my uh, my patch get reviewed in one day and then it get merged but by the way, uh, Nichols review my uh, my patch, and then in several days my patch just get merged. 
So uh, I told the I told my colleague about this, and they and we we're excited about this. So we switched to liberal office in next year. So because of this, uh, I think because we got this problem very often, and in our document there are always number lists and after fixing this, uh, the burden of the support largely uh, reduced. So after that, I, become, I became a regular contributor. So I started with a uh, number list, then all kind of, uh, then the number list in different kinds of file formats, and then the related issues such as online, chapter, uh, any keyword that, uh, that is related to that. Then I started to try if I can fix uh, those problemistic documents that I can find in my office space. And then later I just uh, look at, started to look at the CJK issue list. So, uh, so it, to expand the area of my interest. So, and so on. So uh, let's look at some of uh, interesting CJK issues. So at that time, as I mentioned, that the uh, user, this is one of the uh, frequently asked user questions, that uh, why the text behind the punctuation mark go close to the previous one? So uh, is there anyone who wants to guess the reason? OK. So. Uh, this is a, a specific issue for traditional Chinese users that uh, for com character compression that works by pulling the text behind the punctuation for those punctuation marks like uh, full with comma, full with dot, and full with period. So they pull the text behind. So why can you do that? Because in Japanese, the comma and, and period are designed close to the previous uh, text. So if you pull behind a one third or, four, or, or one fourth, then it's, it will not affect the result of formatting. But for Chinese, especially traditional Chinese users, our punctuation mark are around the center of the grid. So if you simply naively pull the text to front to the front, then it will climb together like this. So it takes me some time to understand that there, uh, when we say CJK features, sometimes they're actually designed after the uh, Japanese formatting rules. So I feel it's quite interesting. So like uh, uh, similar things happened uh, while I fix. Uh, the hand punctuation issue. So, uh, like, there is. Uh, so, like we can see in my text example, hand punctuation is very far away from the border. So, because that in Japanese design, uh, text layout rules that you have uh, your your punctuation marks are more close to to the previous text. So. So it seems more obvious to traditional Chinese users. But anyway, I, I just try to find out everything I can find on the CJK issue list. So, so now makes and makes the the selection of uh, the text more consistent when there is a hand punctuation. And then after I. After I tried to look at the CJK uh, meta issue, uh, then I started doing something that I didn't use myself, like this one. Uh, that is uh, Ruby. So I saw that, I just think, uh, maybe this will be useful for Japanese people, and they will feel inconvenient without them. So, so now that uh, Ruby support in uh, DOCX or DOC format are more robust now. 
and then and we try. I try to look at some strange issues like when there are uh, strange characters, the justify alignment will uh, show up uh, show up ill uh, ill formatted and like a lines extrude the and the if there is uh, underline or or, or cross lines, they will extrude the area of the of the page. And also try to make the borderlines and underlines um, more consistent. So, uh, so as I mentioned in the earlier slide, that uh, when when in 2014 there are a few typical questions, and there are one of them that uh, about my. My my document just look ill formatted, and the our our advice is just turn off the text grid in the page style. So so this uh, that is because that uh, there are so many strange things when you turn on text grid, and unfortunately at that time when we got a, a document maybe from Microsoft. Uh, for in DOCX format or DOC format, then uh, I don't know why that the the text tree were always turned on. So, so we have so many documents with are uh, easily formatted. So so then in 2017, uh, I decided that I want to test the features thematically by combining all the settings together. Then and try to fix those issues as much as possible. So like here, uh, we got a problem that uh, an extra cell is inserted between English and Chinese. Uh, and like an uh, extra new line after the, after the number list. And also some, in some situation that the, the, the characters are close together so that they just look wrong. And obviously this is, this is not correct. So also I do a side-by-side -side comparing of a Microsoft Office and LibreOffice and try to find those small things. So I, take, I took this as an annual project and present this. And I think that's in, I think that's in, in Rome. So then, after I fix this, uh, I think that maybe uh, everything is fine for me, and I, I I'm not sure what to do next. And so, in next year, uh, I I try to fix something that is uh, it's kind of a picking prod something randomly. So I I saw that. Uh, Shinji Sam, I think this Shinji Sam present that in Rome. So I next year, early next year, I I I should just try to uh, fix that thing. And also there is an uh, ongoing, uh, there is an ongoing big project for me. Uh, so the for Japanese users that uh, Ruby's uh, the typical use of Ruby's are using the are put be above or behind the group, uh, the base text. And, but uh, for uh, traditional Chinese users in Taiwan, that uh, we have, we, we, when we write in horizontally from left to right, we will mark the, uh, mark the, uh, mark the ruby at the right side of the base text vertically from top to bottom. So uh, this is typically used uh, for small children who is about one first year or second year in the, in the elementary school that they are learning to write ideographs. So I did this, uh, I begin to uh, do this at, er, I think it's, uh, in 2016, at that time, I my my daughter is 
uh, was still in kindergarten. Then I tried to set a deadline for myself that if I can make it before she started to learn the, this system, this marking system, but I failed. <laughs> I missed the deadline, and but anyway, I'm happy because I think that if if you're a teacher or or like sometimes uh, once my my wife is writing something for my daughter, and then and sh you you will have the only software you can use is Microsoft Office. So then now we have a, we finally we have another software that we can. Um, Open source software that we can mark the the uh, the Bupamufa in a way that are are we familiar with. So eventually in 2018, uh, I found the text layout and the Ruby dialog Ruby dialog uh, updated so that there is an option for the vertical right and support different kind of. Uh, file format and also uh, it's actually another black that tone, tone mark positioning because that uh, these symbols are called tone marks uh, and uh, they have different positioning when they are writing as tone marks <coughs> so uh, uh, so when I developed this feature I test with a special font called uh, Bapamofa Gpose Regular that is uh, designed by Batke in Taiwan. And uh, unfortunately, uh, they, the font uh, is uh, evolving and they eventually put those uh, Bapamofa tone mark positioning feature into source hands and something has changed that uh, source hands to 2.0.1 does not compatible with uh, LibreOffice. This kind of pity. So, so what's next? So there are still about uh, 90 issues uh, on the CJK uh, meta list. So there is quite, there are still quite a lot of things that we can do. So, for example, uh, I tried to start to work on Ruby in Calc uh, early this year. So the general idea is that we can create character attributes similar to writer. And then, then we can reuse the Asian Fontic Guide dialog. And then we try to import and export from the Excel format. And then we do the text layout and display. And then finally, we can develop uh, attributes or properties for open document format so that they can be imported and exported. Also, there are uh, well, also there are still many things that left there that I'm interested, in, like how to make a Ruby easier to use. And for example, it currently split split a segment uh, for use so that you can mark the mark the Ruby text on it. But if we made a mistake, then it will be hard to edit. And also for Taiwanese users, we mostly use uh, mono rubies for bubble muffler. So also there are some requests about improving the tool in general so that it can be edited more quickly and search and replace. And also, um, calc, calc and Impress do not support Ruby yet. So in, uh, I discussed this with uh, Nanosan. So he said that uh, calc is uh, more important because uh, there, uh, there are some uh, widespread uh, document there. So. And also there are line breaking rules that I have tried to look into, but I did not uh, have enough time to handle. And they are all have similar causes. And so that might be an interesting uh, issues to handle in the next stage. 
also vertical writing issues here. So for vertical writing, I did not, uh, I did not actually show up anything changed uh, in today's presentation. I tried, but I cannot do it very well because I fixed it for a few times, then it broke a few times. <laughs> then, and because then we changed to uni uh, unified uh, rendering uh, software uh, library called Harfbus, and then it broke again. And with other developers so help, I think the hell has needs help that uh, we we make it correct again for Linux and Windows. And for Mac platform, it it is always incorrect. And because I don't have a Mac, so I cannot even to see. I cannot even see what's the problem. So in my opinion, although that the uh, unified text layout are correct for horizontal writing in general. I have uh, no confidence for the virtual uh, writing. And so this might be uh, one area that uh, worth uh, discussing. So what's next? So if you're still interested in what's next, then you can come to join us, join the liberal office half tomorrow. Thank you.